Hi guys, John here again. Welcome back to another stunning day out here on the island. Um, today we're going to have a look through the uh, the power pack and uh, what actually drives both our little electric outboard motor and our electric airboat. So what we've got here at the moment is we're on charge and it's, it's really simple to work with. It's just a plug and play and it charges. On the outside we've got an on off switch uh, for the motor and we've also got a controller which I'll show you in a moment. Inside the box uh, it's a slight rat's nest at first um, glance but uh, it's all working and safe. Um, just uh, for a matter of interest, we're using double plugs because I didn't have uh, the six AWG wire um, due to uh, transportation reasons in the world at the moment. Now down this end of the box, we've got the charger. We've got a charger for the main battery. We've also got a 12 volt charger because we use a 12 volt battery for ancillary things. We've got a fan which cools that area of the box and the chargers during charging because it will uh, get quite that warm. That is a 240 fan, so as soon as you plug in the charger, that That's fan right. starts. That's right. Uh, and it worth will, noting. Yeah, and it'll be thermostat controlled with time as well. We just haven't got the thermostats at the moment. Now, over in this area here, we've got the main battery pack and uh, it's a, we're running 24S, um, so it's around 86 volts nominal. And uh, there's a BMS on top of it, which uh, is good for about 120 amps continuous 300 peak. We'll get into more detail later on. Down the back here, we've got a contactor, which turns the whole system on and off by the 12 volts. And that then sends the power down to the ESC here, which is from our uh, mates, Jeremy and company down in Sydney, from down our way in Oz uh, at APD. And a big shout out to them because they've actually been uh, really helpful with some information there. Um, we've got a couple of cooling fans over that, and that seems to be working the treat. Yeah. Turn the whole system on now. Um, it's as easy as one, two, three. We'll get the cooling fans starting. Um, they will also be thermostat controlled, but for the time being, they're just on the 12 volt system. And the motor is armed, and we're ready to go. So what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna head around to the other jetty. We're gonna take the electric output off. We're gonna put the airboat fan on, and we're gonna go for a run in open water. There we go. See you over there. We'll see you over there. Hello there. Hey guys, all back again. I love this place and the weather. It's always fantastic. Never a bad day of weather in this country, Sweden. <laughs> That's the sign. Swedish summer would like to have a word. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I've turned the system off. And we're just going to unplug it. And what we've used here are the Anderson connectors. Big beefy ones. Yeah. Easy to use with gloves and stuff as well, which is important. Yeah, that's right. So this is what we've made. And uh, it's sincerely about a third of the weight of uh, your comparable outboard motor. Yeah. So what's the deal? You lift this on, I'll take this this oh, side. Look. No, it's cool. I'll, I'll no, you'll do it. Yeah. As simple as as simple as just having heaps of muscles. Now we're going to get the four bolts. Just missed the middle bit there. Yeah, I saw that. Alright, there we go. Nice. Beautiful. Line up these old holes. And of course, doing it in the boat is one option, but the boat moves around a bit. We use lock nuts. We're not going far at the moment, so enough to trust those. And the beauty with the size of this for our needs is that it's just really easy to maneuver and to deal with all up. We don't need something much bigger than this. 
All right, but of course, you can make these in all shapes and sizes. Done. So what's that, like a six, seven minute install? Pretty much, so I think, um, not bad. Course, you could be doing stuff to make the holes easier to deal with, um, but I mean, this is this is basically going from mount board to airboat in a kick. Plug and play after that. Pretty much plug and play. After the cage. And what we do here, just for the time being, is because we haven't sorted that out, we use the best engineering Equipment ever made. Tape solves all. Proper yeah. cable management. Proper cable management. We're right to go now. I'm gonna put a bit of hearing uh, protection on. Grab the controller. That's on. Um, I was gonna give it a bit of jeans, Jack, so um, um, you're hanging on. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> All good to go. What do you reckon we get out on the water and have a shot? Yeah. Um, I'll push you out? Yeah, yeah, cool. I know that this motor does like around 30 kilometers an hour. It's not bad. Oh, now he's just leaving me. Come on! Ah, that was uh, that was good. Well, that's really the first open water test um, that we've done. Mm. And I'm stoked, it, it works really well. The boat is stable for a little John boat. Um, the fan is perfect for the size of the boat. Yeah, um, it's fast. <laughs> it's fast, as said, 35, 36 k an hour out there um, against the wind, so mm. you know. How's the new cooling fans for the EC working? Those right. are newly uh, installed. Definitely, you know, it's just slightly warm. Slightly warm. It's so you good. Know, not looking at any um, serious temperatures there. What a piece of kit! I love it. <laughs> Let's keep going. Let's go. I want to. I want to see some acceleration. All right. Do that well, next. As said, it's trimmed right down to minimum acceleration. Yeah. Still think. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> we'll see about that. Ready. Maybe try, maybe show the docking.
Thank you. I guess that concludes the first open water test in the summer. First open water test for the summer. Um, for anyone who is interested, we've run down about 30% of the battery capacity, which is about the size of a um, car battery. We should... The physical size of the car battery. Yeah, but we should mention that we have a bad cell in that. Yeah, we cooked the cell the other day. <laughs> yeah, uh, so it's like, it, it's fine until what, like 50% and then the voltage just ends up dropping like a rock on yeah, that cell. Yeah, just on that cell, yeah. And that's, uh, of course, going to affect uh, the performance. But I'll, pro mean, I'll probably say that 30% isn't adequate, like, usage. It's probably less than that. That's right, um, that's correct, yeah. So but we get, you know, like, for range like this, a small airboat um, out on the water or uh, over, over the ice, for our transportation needs or anyone like this it's just absolutely perfect easy to use mm. and quite stable i've got to give it that so um you know with another half an hour on the water you'd feel like you've been doing this all your life let's get that cell changed and do some range tests but now i think you have to race someone who's coming by Okey -dokey. hurry up <laughs> guys well this is it this is the airboat which uh, got me nominated for the Gussies award um, so jump on to plugboats.com and uh, check out all the boats uh, getting electric out on water is important and uh, place your vote for the uh, person you think is most worthy of winning of course um, subscribe check out the links below have an awesome day and we'll see you in the next video bye bye